Welcome back. The light division. I finally have uh, made the, the, the plunge. I'm going to do it. I've read the rules like three times over the last eight years or whenever it was I bought this game. I bought this game and I paid, I paid retail in a store, which I never do. But I saw it and I was like, ah, oh, it's a Belkowski game. I'm going to get it. The hell with the price. It was like $45 or $50, something stupid like that. I'm, you know, in shrink. Could have got it for like 12 online. Crazy times. Um, right, well, let's see. It, as we set up, you know, there's a lot of errata for this game, uh, just for map, right? And unfortunately, there are some things you can't fix about the map and, you know, color schemes. Uh, the seventh grade crayon team got together and did the color scheme for the, <laughs> for the map. It's just hideous. It makes no sense. It's just hideous. But that's okay, because it's the 80s and shit happened. It got crazy in the 80s. Everyone went, woohoo, we can have more than three colors. Let's do this. And this is, this is the result. But there's some errata, of course. And, uh, you know, some guy, this chappy here, Mr. Kaufman, uh, he wrote, you know, a whole bunch of complaining whiny stuff, which I thought was not in the rules. But as I found out, it's in the box already. All the mistakes were recognized by the publisher 3W and they've left it to you to mark the, mark the crap out of your map and work it out. Uh, but basically, simple little things. Uh, there are, the rules are very specific about, now I've lost the hex since I moved that piece of paper. Blah, 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 blah. Where'd that go? Where did it go? Bear with me. I'm going to find it. Why not? Some of the hexes, some of the hexes, he said. Let's see. Okay, this might be an example. Get a little bit of bleed over here, right? And what we're supposed to do is use the worst terrain in the hex. Well, the rules, new revisions here say, hey, you know, don't worry about that. Our mistake. But the biggest, probably the single biggest error that... Fortunately, is fixable. Uh, all these hexes are actually city hexes. And if you look at the terrain key, and the terrain key is wrong, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, the, 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 these are supposed to be pink. These, are supposed, these two hexes are supposed to be clear. So we're going to do clear. We're going to do pink, even though it's marked as, I think that's rough. So, and then this is a city over here as well. So we got that to, to work with. Um, it's interesting, the terrain key it was stated that it was wrong, but looking at it from a distance, it doesn't appear to be wrong. Uh, it, so, I don't know, mountains are yellow, like this stuff here. And the terrain, uh, the terrain key says they are indeed yellow. So I don't know. I think the peaks are wrong, uh, the wrong, the wrong kind of shade, but that's okay. So we're going to go through, we're going to get this set up. I'm not going to do the Soviet scenario because I'm, I'm more interested in what would have happened if the, if the U S had gone in against the Iranians and said, Hey, look, we're keeping the Straits of Hormuz open for the oil back in the day. Not that we really need to do that anymore, but for the good of the world being the the gentle imperialist that the Americans are, they are going to uh, impose themselves upon uh, the Iranians and establish a beachhead here and make sure that uh, they get rid of all the missile launching capabilities of the Iranian forces and prevent any sort of naughtiness uh, in, in, the in the transportation lanes uh, through the strait. So, we're going to get this set up and we'll get after it in a few bits and I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, by the way, thanks for, uh, thanks for checking in on the Facebook video the, the other night. Uh, I'm going to use that a little bit more often just to do, do a few, a few quick, quick chats and commentaries. All the best.